just a bunch of stuff, just the schedule, confusion and busyness and whatnot, and then I forgot about it. Because I didn't do it Saturday morning. And then once once I didn't do it Saturday morning, it was just off my mind, because this is a Saturday morning thing. Uh, it is now Saturday afternoon. Uh, another beautiful May spring day in Calgary. Another great day for marathon training and love and life. Speaking of the marathon, it is 22, 20, 20 some days away. It's on the 26th. Um, so I've got to do a long run tomorrow, I presume, on the treadmill. And, yeah, then I'm going to start to taper. And my buddy Rob's wedding is the week before. Which is why I got a fresh haircut. Mm -mm. So I've been titling these vlogs My Spartan Year because I wanted to be more disciplined and more athletic, more in control, more responsible. And I just, as I said in the first one, I really liked it when a friend referred to me as a Spartan a while ago. So I kept it. And I really feel like I haven't been Spartan enough. But in as many objective, measurable ways as I can, I'm still doing fine because I'm still training responsibly. Um, blah, blah, blah. But uh, I've decided that if I can afford the entry fee after... I sign up for one more race because there's a race in July that I did last year that I want to do again this year. After I sign up for that, if I can afford it, for August I'm going to sign up for the Spartan race, which is a 5k obstacle course. And then it'll really be my Spartan year. And if by some miracle I have any money whatsoever after I've signed up for that, then I might also do the Calgary Night Run, just because it'll be a cool thing to see. And I've already signed up for Melissa's Road Race in September. And that's that'll be the end of my running season. So hopefully um, it goes marathon in May, 10K in June, half marathon in July, Spartan Race in August, Maybe the night race in August. And then Melissa's. Then take a little time off running. Just do some just bodybuilding strength work, really. But just try and get a mental break from being a runner until the end of the year. Like, still do some running, but focus more on swimming some biking, some rowing, as well as just hypertrophy to build up my, my mitochondria. Come January, start training for next year's Run for Water, which is a 61K race that I want to do. So, assuming the marathon this year goes well, my progression will be a half marathon, my first half marathons in 2018, a marathon in 2019, and then what is basically a marathon and a half in 2020. So that'll be cool. Other than that, uh, things aren't great. Like work is just hanging on by a thread and has been really anxiety inducing for a while and now is the time in in the year because again no one watches these so I, I don't need to bother saying you may recall but you may recall one of my goals for the year was to start doing something professionally in fitness and so with the slowdown of the school year now would be that time to start looking for something, a job at a running store, a supplement store, something like that. So that's what I've got to start 
thinking about is how I'm going to, now that I have more time away from work, I need to be thinking about how I'm going to start aligning my professional life with my athletic life and and hopefully feeling better about the unity of my life in general. But also, I'm just financially, uh, I was going to say in shambles, but that's not really true. Um, normally, I save up money so I can take the summer off. And this year, I paid off a debt with all of the money that would have been the money I saved. But uh, So I've got that debt off of my credit report or credit score. But now I am just fingers crossed going to scrape up enough money working to, to to cover the rent for June and maybe part of July so I've got to find something else and, and that's kind of anxiety inducing because it's instead of doing it because I want to do it back to doing it because I have to do it which means I won't always make ideal choices I'll be much more likely to leap at a job I don't want because it, it's an offer rather than hold out for a job that I do want or am suited for or that I think might really enrich me in any other way besides a paycheck. Which is a place I hoped not to be in again. And I don't want to be too optimistic. Maybe it's just the weather. But I don't want to be, I don't want to put a brave face on this. I don't want to say that everything's going to be fine. I'm so tired of having to do that. But I'm also not going to ramble. So that is the State of the Union on this, the 124th day of the year.